Hello fellow global citizens. This is Klaus from Plant Based News. I am not a bigot. I am a good global citizen who believes all the things that the good grown-ups on the TV tell me to believe. And when we're talking about Epstein, you gotta stick to what is common sense on these things, all right? Don't get buried in legalese, don't follow the finger pointing, and please don't get caught up in the intrigue of who was better friends with this guy. Who cares? 2020 has been a fantastic year for the vegan movement so far, and with our revolutionary global corporate sponsors and endorsement by the totally credible World Health Organization, it's sure to get even better. Going against Beyond Meat is going against history. Hey everyone, this is Klaus here and I just wanted to re-upload this video from CNBC because Jim Cramer came out and said some very interesting things about Beyond Meat. This movement's happening and you, you gotta get on the bus or get left. How can I make an impact? You put your differences aside and you... you act. You... you go out in the unknown and take decisions that may not make much sense at the moment but for the long run may be necessary for, our, for all our common well-being. Um, and as in any crisis, or I mean, it's always important, essential that we listen to, to the science and to the experts. But during crises like this, it is even more important that we listen to, to scientists, to science and to the experts. Our activism faced a minor setback early this year when the good grown-up experts of the settled science at the government saved us from what the experts of the science that is settled predicted with their totally credible and real science models would surely cause everything bad to happen always. Global house arrest lockdown, mandatory unemployment, temporary permanent totalitarian technocracy, and healthy happy responsible mandatory muzzles are helping save all us extra, non-essential people. Us non-essential extra people who the smart grown-up science experts say need to stop reproducing and exhaling toxic gases need to listen to the good grown-up philanthropist expert friends of philanthropist Jeffrey Epstein so we can not get sick and surely die. The British government has now put restrictions in place to slow the spread of this virus. People in the UK are only allowed to leave their homes for specific reasons. This includes shopping for necessities, medical care, and travelling to and from work if it's absolutely necessary. Shops selling non-essential goods have been closed, as well as gyms, libraries, places of worship, and gatherings of more than two people have been banned. Social isolation and total surveillance is obviously so necessary to save us from this totally real crisis. Unfortunately the mandatory closing of non-essential people's businesses and gathering places has put a pause on the amazing activism of okay. vegan street activists like my hero, vegan. the mentally and physically uh, healthy, jittery and effeminate oh, vegan wow. activist oh, no, Joey Carbstrong. Okay. So they've got it, veggie and vegan separated, which is good. Lockdowns have also made it difficult for many of us online vegan activists who spend our time changing the world and saving the animals anonymously in YouTube comments who have to now spend time around disgusting murdering, unethical bigot non-vegan non-essential people like our families. But also for some of us maybe we're self-isolating with loved ones but that's a negative thing because having that forced interaction with family where we can't get away from them can obviously be very difficult for many of us as well particularly when we put that vegan spin on it as well when our loved ones are maybe not vegan and that can be very tricky but if we're alone as well and we're in self-isolation we don't have anyone to talk to apart from maybe online or virtually it's very tricky i think i feel genuinely very sorry and troubled if any of you are at home now with non-vegan friends and family and you're vegan of course and you're in an environment where those conversations keep arising about veganism but you can't walk out the door and or go hang out with some vegan friends or go to a vegan restaurant instead of just you're, you're stuck in that environment and so i think we should use this this time very effectively to improve the way that we do discuss veganism we do have a unique opportunity i mean when we think about what's happening right now so many people, probably more now than ever, are turning to the internet for wisdom, for guidance, or even just for distraction. I can totally relate to this powerful and effeminate gelfling vegan activist, Earthling Ed. My wife's boyfriend's house is nearby, so I get a few nights a week with peace and quiet in my smart city coffin apartment where I can focus on my online vegan activism and play some Nintendo Switch without having to use my headphones. 
She refuses to go vegan for the animals, so I told my speciesist carnist wife I'd prefer if she stayed at her boyfriend's house more permanently until she stops being so selfish and supporting the murder of innocent animals. So I guess my first question is this, is anyone else sick of pretending like meat eaters, more specifically people that harm animals, more specifically just basically anyone who's not vegan, who has been educated and refuses to stop harming animals, is anyone sick of pretending <laughs> to ignore the fact that they are responsible for causing the majority of the world's problems today? Yes. I am so sick of non-vegans. I've socially distanced myself from most carnists, I can't stand my family and have disowned all my old bigot animal abusing friends. My activism is the most important thing for me, I am doing this for the animals. I am not depressed, sickly, confused and angry from depriving myself of the most important foods for human beings and reinforcing a self-refuting, self-loathing, anti-human worldview that leads me to isolate myself from those who love me and slowly starve myself into dementia. I am mad because non-vegans are causing all the problems in the world. The only thing I hate more than speciesist animal murdering bigot non-vegans are former vegans who now eat meat and say it made them feel so much better. I just heard one of my former vegan idols has come out as an ex-vegan. This upsets me so much, but I feel strangely excited because I now have a new temporary fleeting sense of purpose and someone to project all my frustration onto. I am reinvigorated with energy to fight this new enemy and prove once and for all that veganism is the way, the truth, and the life. Let's check out vegan YouTube to see how I should react to this earth-shattering news that John Venus is now eating meat and help stomp out and shame this former vegan for his obviously wrong and irrational decision to stop associating with us rational, healthy people and our totally not a cult vegan lifestyle. Someone was saying, yeah, you know, I'm anti-racism, and then like the next week they're like, nah, I'm, I'm actually kinda racist, I'm gonna introduce a bit of racism into my lifestyle now, or, you know, I'm anti-domestic violence, oh no, I'm gonna introduce introduce a little bit of domestic violence into my lifestyle now, beat my wife on the weekends. Oh, I'm anti-child abuse. Yeah, anti-child abuse for five years and now I'm gonna start, you know, paying for children to be abused and, you know, like... Toxic masculinity. Now you can pin that on your kid all you want, but I saw it happen with, in Michelle's video, she cites some comments on John's live chat that he did recently from Tommy Kelly who used to be Tofu Tommy who I blocked on Facebook six months ago when he started talking bullshit about how um, a nurse was telling him he had to eat non-vegan things. Guys, if you want to be the big man, the big daddy, the big I'm the father, I'm the hunter, with a spear, I must be man. You see that doesn't exist anymore that's that's not a real thing and that's not what being a, a real man is in fact can you just add two letters to the front of that human can you just be a decent human and John citing that you were were five years an ethical vegan and now you're going to start eating uh, deer and fish that you kill yourself like big man does big man is just bull you were never an ethical vegan then. I think you said a few things that maybe are kind of contradicting to what the word vegan means. Uh, vegan means you are ethically standing for animals that you won't harm them in any way. Um, so with that being said, um, once you say you're vegan, that means you're vegan for life. Um, the difference would be if you chose to eat only plants and vegetables uh, and fruits and those things of that nature, um, no animals, but then you went back to eating animals, that would be more of a plant-based approach because again, I just wanna say this one more time, once you say you're vegan, then that means for the rest of your life that you're standing up for animals and that you're not harming them. So John has now chosen to eat animals, consume animals, him and his wife, um, and I, yeah, they can do that if they want to, you know, that that's their choice. And um, I just, I, like I said, I used to do that. I used to hunt. And the one thing that I would just say and challenge um, John to on this, one, he can't say that he is ever vegan because now he's consuming animals again. 
As I said before on my vegan versus plant-based video, there is absolutely no such thing as an ex-vegan. You're not gonna see someone who spends their time fighting against sexism to then turn around and say, you know what? You know what's fantastic? Oppressing women. I think I'm gonna reintroduce some domestic violence back into my life. I'm gonna reintroduce some patriarchal conditioning back into my life. That's gonna really take it to the next level. It just does not work like that. You're never gonna see someone who's taken a strong stance against racism to then turn around and say, you know what really fires me up? Prejudice. I think I'm gonna reintroduce systemic oppression back into my life. I think I'm gonna reintroduce segregation back into my life. It just doesn't work like that. I understand that I have a responsibility to myself and I have full accountability over my health, habits, and lifestyle. But no matter what I choose, it will never change the fact that I am a vegan. But John, oh John, he straight up in the head. A narcissistic human supremacist sociopath who has been pretending all this time to be against injustice so he could make a living out of it, but has been committing crimes against animals behind everyone. I really don't get why anyone is surprised about this, honestly. He already admitted his bird ass ovulations eating fetish a few months ago. So he claiming that he is no longer vegan, um, it's pretty pointless to me because he already admitted it before. Honestly, it's just so arrogant of him to just think he is entitled to go out and hunt um, just as a vegan community we need to be so careful about who we're putting on a pedestal because these people are just shallow um, you are not entitled to go out and shoot deer and, and you're looking forward to the experience like some sort of psychopath. I'm really looking forward to my experience. Like, so disappointing. Again, John, you keep repeating the same lie that you used to be vegan, you're a former vegan. No, John, you were never vegan, and that's why it's so easy for you to partake in this violence yourself. I'm sure if you were actually vegan before, it would be a hell of a lot more difficult for you to commit animal abuse by gutting fish open while they're still alive and gunning down deer. Uh, this is all just complete nonsense. This guy was never vegan. Uh, both of them are just lying frauds, and they're both both just horrible, selfish people. So I hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully I don't have to make another video on these people. I see a lot of nutrient deficiencies in a lot of different people, not just vegans. In fact, I see very few nutrition nutrient deficiencies in vegans, and it's easy to treat if I do find it, vitamin D deficiency or things like that. But you're not... Veganism, you're not doing veganism for health reasons. It happens to be extremely healthy and we've got tons and tons of evidence uh, regarding that and I've published that on my in my book and, and on my social media feeds. I'm a vegan for an ethic. And if you're vegan for an ethic, the idea of leaving that because of a nutrient deficiency that seems a little bit strange to me. It means you no longer have that ethic. Um, the guy has never been vegan. He was just an apologist, plant-based poser. He never gave a f Obviously not, because vegans never go back. These are always plant-based posers. Let's just get that straight, okay? Because veganism is an ethical lifestyle about animals. Yes! It is clear that John Venus was never really vegan. You don't just stop being vegan. You can start being vegan, and we all should start, but you can't stop being vegan. If you do you were clearly never really vegan and were just plant based. I didn't realize that John was already exposed for being never really vegan when he confessed and apologized for eating three eggs a while ago. Vegan Gaines, a mentally and physically healthy, sterile young vegan activist and role model, exposed this lying non-vegan subhuman piece of filth months ago. We need to start exposing these fake vegans who were really never really vegan before they come out as never really vegan so we don't have to deal with the disappointment and hassle of publicly ritualistically shaming them with our mantras in our predictable repetitive response videos we have to make to tell everyone that the apostate defectors were never really vegan so more people will join us in saving the animals and not want to be never really vegan. Okay, so... 
your wife is a nutritionist, and your wife is an ethical vegan, and you decided to, like, where did you even get this idea from? Just random reasons online? Uh, the idea of eating eggs. Um, so, basically... These bigot idiots who get these insane, irrational ideas like eating eggs or real animal foods must be so mentally deranged, I can't fathom how anyone believes this fake poser was ever really vegan, he was so clearly never really vegan. We need to find better ways to ensure that people in veganism, which is totally not a pathetic cult, keep these terrible ideas like eating eggs out of their minds so we can keep the animals safe from mass murderers like John Venus and my speciesist family who I disowned for being never really vegan. Okay, cool. So it, you don't encourage anyone to do any kind of experiment like this where they eat eggs or something? No, as I said in the other video, I don't encourage anyone unless there is absolutely every, like if, if they've tried what I said in the other video is if someone has tried absolutely everything and they just can't leave the idea behind and it's the only thing they can do and they have to experiment then do it but try absolutely everything else first because what do you mean you know, okay what do you mean by that uh, go in further detail like try if they have to do this like what would require somebody to eat animal products so so if someone like someone is not able to overcome their issues mental issues or uh for example for me it was a psychological it was a emotional thing that i was going through and for me for some reason i had to go through that to come out the other side and realize certain things right so, so if you're that saying is what you someone, did was justified no but it was uh okay you know, well you just said you had in my to mind do it. but it well, wait, wait a second. You just said that if somebody has to do it to have mental peace of mind, then, yeah. you know, go ahead and eat animal products. So you just said uh, you had to do it. So did you have to do it to have mental well, peace of mind? I mean, no one has to do anything, right? Vegan Games has him cornered. Everyone can see that John was never really vegan now. So many people will want to stay vegan and not become never really vegan after seeing this. I am so relieved that we outed this poser. This will help convince more mentally healthy people to join us in saving all the animals and giving human rights to animals and animal rights to humans now. Look, this brings us to the next point I was going to bring up. Let's say uh, in a alternate universe, you, your copy of you in an alternate universe did this exact same experiment, but it turned out that after you eat these egg, ate these eggs, you felt way better. You felt 10 mm -hmm. times better, and you even yep. got blood work done, your blood work improved, let's say your cholesterol was lower, your markers of inflammation was lower, um, your, I don't know, vitamin and mineral uh, status went up. What would you have done then? What would I have done? Well, I would have, uh, you know, explored that further by, you know, realizing what is in the egg that maybe I might have been missing. And well, let's say you could only get it from eggs. Source. Let's say if I could in this hypothetical universe, you could only have gotten this from eggs. And I could only heal myself by eating eggs, you mean? Yeah, sure. What are you asking? If it's morally justified to eat eggs, if it's the only way to heal yourself? Yeah, if, if like, let's you're saying you have a back injury. Yep. Let's say after eating eggs, your back injury cleared right up, and the only thing that would have cured it was eggs. Is it, do you yep. think it's morally justified to eat eggs? Yes. Okay, so um, I would say right then and there, you're not vegan. Veganism isn't about you. It's not about your own personal well-being. It's about reducing unnecessary suffering and death. Do you think it's absolutely you, necessary, think, John? No, John. Do you think John. That people would, do you think people would, most vegans would agree that, you know, you have to, like, <laughs> in order to be vegan, it means that you should sacrifice your own health and your own well-being in order okay, to be John. vegan. Obviously, that is not, okay, luckily, it's not the case. Okay, John, but listen. In this okay, hypothetical well, hypothetical world well, that you're talking about, obviously, you can't listen. expect people to kill themselves before <clears throat> eating animals. Okay, well, point. John. Wow. What a selfish idiot. Well, veganism like is not about you. It is about the animals. We should have known you were never really vegan when you selfishly had a child who could potentially become never really vegan. The worst thing for the animals are humans, and you thought it was acceptable to make a new one. This guy is totally irrational and dangerous. Well, are you saying that if you would not eat animals if you knew you were going to die in a month if you didn't? 
Um, and no, if you say, I, look, I, I wouldn't, I don't care. You don't, you, you wouldn't eat animals? No. Yeah, and you think that is, uh, you know, the same answer that everyone else was I don't vegan. care what everyone else will give. Look, John, but uh... What does look, that say about you? Look, John, uh, that says I'm not, uh, so selfish that I think I'm at the center of the universe where I can just, uh, murder things because my back kind of hurts. It, do it doesn't really, it hasn't been getting better in a while. Yeah, but if you're gonna kill yourself, uh, you know, for the animals, what, what's the point? Look, John, um... No, answer, it, it, man. Like, look, I, I'm interested. Look, John, uh, look, John, this is a moral topic that is outside of the scope of the actual discussion, so I, I'm not, not gonna really, bother right now. Gaslighting is a psychological phenomenon whereby an abuser makes you the victim question your very reality. They might do this by telling you you're wrong, by making up lies, by telling you that they know better, that they know what's best for you, your health, your family, your future. Gaslighting is caused by abusers who are struggling to control their victim. So they use these underhand but very effective psychological techniques to do so. But telling vegans that they've been brainwashed is actually just one of the gaslighting techniques I want to highlight. If you believe that you are being gaslighted, then speak out. Come and speak to someone. Make friends within the vegan community. Carnists will try to befriend you. They'll try to say, the vegan ideology, you've been brainwashed, come over here. That's brainwashing. <laughs> that is the actual brainwashing.